They have both been genetically blessed with fabulous figures. And Kim Kardashian, 37, and sister Kylie Jenner, 20, proved they were cut from the same cloth as they looked like clones of each other while in Calabasas on Monday. The reality stars flaunted their curves as they rocked skin tight gray and black halter tops and leggings for their Southern California outing. Daring to impress, the stunning sisters revealed their bountiful bosoms as the form fitting tops hugged their bodies tightly. Their pert derrieres took center stage as the leggings provided lasting support from their lithe waists down to their ankles. They both rocked retro styled mirrored sunglasses as they kept a cool beverage handy on their outing. Kim stomped the sidewalks in a set of turquoise stilettos as Killy chose a dark shade of gray for her footwear. Killy accessorized the athletic ensemble with a light blue messenger bag that was strapped across her chest. The two seemed to be full of beans as they looked to be working on a photo shoot together perhaps for one of Kanye West's recent ventures with 2XU. At one point, the gorgeous gals jumped into a vintage sport utility vehicle. Later, the sensational sisters traded in their stilettos for thigh grazing boots Kim in light brown and Killy in gray. Kim rocked a black baggy top as Kyle opted for a skimpy black mini dress that stopped just below her rear. Killy could be seen slipping on the saucy tall boots in a doorway as an assistant waited outside. Meanwhile, Kim launched her new makeup collection on Friday as she appears to be taking on younger sister Killy's dominance in the cosmetics department. Kim took to her site KimKardashianWest.com last week to share a clip from the behind the scenes of the shoot to plug the new lipsticks and lip liners. The looker appeared to be topless, but she actually had on a see-through nude tube top that showcased her curves. I've been working on my KKW Beauty Grand lipsticks and liners for such a long time, and I'm so happy that I can finally share them with you," began the reality TV star. She added, We initially planned on releasing them a while back, but we held off because I wanted to make sure the formula and packaging were absolutely perfect. This comes after she said on Thursday that she has a cheat day for her diet every 10 days. She explained on the same website, I've been really strict with my diet recently. When I grocery shop, I buy lean protein, carbs, fruits and veggies, but every once in a while, I like to treat myself and have a cheat meal. The beauty admitted it is not easy being good all the time. It can be so hard and boring to eat really clean all of the time. A cheat meal allows me to enjoy food without feeling like I'm overindulging. My trainer, Mel, instructs that you should schedule a cheat meal about once every 10 days. This way you won't lose any of the progress you've made at the gym. When you do them too often, your body's hormones are thrown off," she wrote. Your testosterone, which is a muscle-making and fat loss hormone, can change if you're eating too many calories, which can make you gain weight. You can still enjoy your favorite food as long as you get back on track the next day. Cheat meals work best when you avoid alcohol since they're empty calories filled with sugar. This part is easy for me since I don't really drink, which means I can just have an extra donut or two. Kidding. I do have a sweet tooth, though, so normally my cheat meals are desserts or other sweets. In April she tried to lose more weight when she hit the Met Gala in Nick. I have the Met Gala coming up and I've worked so hard working out, but I started eating a lot of sweets and I wanted to just change my food patterns to eat healthier and cut sugar out of my life as much as I can, she said at the time. We always have sweets around and it's really hard when there are temptations everywhere.